These people I've chosen, these tribes, these communities, represent for me the world's last, most originally authentic, beautiful people in all their glory. My name is Jimmy Nelson. I work as a photographer, and this book is a project of mine called Before They Pass Away. We're attracted to beautiful things, beautiful places, beautiful people, our beautiful self. And these people, in all their glory, haven't been given that, that time, haven't been given that attention, haven't been given that sort of iconography. But I really believe these people have a fantastic authentic beauty, something that we really have lost. The picture showing me standing up to my knees in a flowing river um, behind my old 4x5 technical camera with this Huli warrior looking over me from behind is a particularly favorite picture. By slowing yourself down, by taking this old camera, which is made of bits, some of which are 50 years old, by limiting myself to 100 images, you become desperately focused. And the end result of the picture is these Huli warriors standing underneath this magnificent waterfall. The Kazakhs I photographed are the ethnic Kazakhs living in the Altai Mountains above Bayan Ugli in uh, northwestern Mongolia. They're Hollywood-esque. You cannot believe that these people really look the way they do. You cannot believe that the environment that they live in, they hunt in, they ride in, is for real. These Samburu men, they're beautiful, they're tall, they're elegant. They could very easily be women. And often I show these patients, they go, wow, those ladies look great, they look stunning. And I said, they're not women. Look closely, they're men. They can literally kill lions with their bare hands. In far, far north of eastern Siberia, there is this group called the Chukchi. And there's only about 60 to 80 of them actually left living in the tundra. So it's like arriving in Shangri-La, I and mean, in actual fact, it was only two Yoranga tents. On the other side of the hill, there they are, and there's smoke coming out of the tent. And it was the most blissful feeling of, we found them, we found them. In, a, in an area larger than France, we found 30 of the last 80 people. Tibet is, it was, is, I have to be very careful here, a glorious country and culture, but there's so little of it left due to the politics and history of the more recent years. But there is one part, and that is this, the Valley of Mustang. And it's this tiny, tiny kingdom that was opened, only opened about 10 years ago. It really is pure Tibetan culture in, in its finest. But what's a disaster, to be honest, is that the authorities have got a license to build a highway from China all the way down through Nepal into India. So these images I made, I dare to say some, maybe some of the very last images of this authentic culture and of Tibetan culture in general in its purest form.